everybody! Welcome to Basically the Best, now with added headcam. Uh, this is uh, Matthew Wallace Wilden, as always, here with Joseph Bono. Howdy, folks. We're gonna jump in the queue, do some Momir. Uh, we've got our first opponent, Dr. Zoidberg. Hi, Dr. Zoidberg. Uh, yeah. No copyright infringement here. Uh, I mean, are you paying Joseph Bono to be using his name? Uh, in fact, I am. I think that's, I think it's trademarked. It is, it is. Uh, yep. So our opponent you know, is probably away from the keyboard. Um, he's probably waiting in the queue a little bit, but yeah. This is, uh, let's take this opportunity okay. here. Uh, they have released the Momir Basic Event deck that we had talked about previously on yep. the show. Um, it's nine ninety nine. You get a new sweet avatar. It's uh, it's just like our avatar, except it's got cooler art. Yep. Yep. In my opinion. Alternate art. Sweet. So if you uh, if you don't have the avatar, you don't have to go trolling around the classifieds, which I hate. Yep. Uh, and you get, get some uh, sweet lands. And you get some sweet lands, and you can be playing Momir yep. with us. Us. So our opponent won the die roll. It's going first. Makes sense. Uh, and we're just gonna play some lands and F6 through some turns. Yeah, you could try and seem less bored. I, I could. I'm not going to. No, no. Alright, guy leads mountain, mountain. Now, see, that doesn't. That doesn't. I never like that. I prefer when they start with, like, swamp, 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 forest. Like, you get. You're like, oh, guy doesn't. Guy might not have an idea what he's doing, but leading mountain, mountain, maybe he's seen the show. So you, what That's you're what saying is that you like opponents that you know are no good. I I prefer opponents that we can just roll. Yeah. Uh, so our opponent, he got a 1-1 one, one hasty guy that will get plus 1, plus 1 if he ever gets another red creature. And we got this Pyrrhic Salamander, uh, which is a 1-1 one, one that can fire breathe. But if you do, he dies at the end of the turn. Yeah. Uh, so hopefully our opponent doesn't hit a red guy and we can just trade off these guys. That uh, That would be best. Yeah. Oh, and he gets a red guy. Hooray! Yeah, unfortunate. Um, yeah. Kavu aggressor. It's a three-two. Can't block. Uh, has yeah. a bunch of other text that is not relevant for Moby. <laughs> so I think at this point we're we're just hoping to hit like a two-two and be able to trade like our two-two for his aggressor and also block uh, the Pyrrhic Salamander on the cohort so that when it shrinks. We get to trade that. Yep. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. And we don't. Uh, uh, we get a little infected vermin. It's a one-one. It's sort of a, yep. a bad pestilence. It's, it's bad crypt rats, is what it is. Oh well. Yeah. I would say pestilence is definitely better than infected vermin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, like. Crypt rats or rats, they I have suppose. pestilence I ability. I, I guess I guess forest is a bad pestilence too. Oh god. Uh, the beats keep coming. He gets a ballad good thief, uh, it's the ally from Zendikar, it's gonna make us discard a card. It's just yeah. a two two, but gonna have to discard, which is not good, because he's got early pressure, so we don't wanna miss drops to hit eights. We still need to like stabilize and and do that, so the yeah. hits and the beats keep coming. At this point, we're just going to trade off both of our guys yeah. for his aggressor. Yeah. We'll take two here, but we get to shrink his guy a little bit. Yeah. and It makes it more likely that we'll get somebody who can just block his yeah. whole team. And, um, and like the ideal situation is for us to get like a 2-3 on our 4-drop, and then for him not to get anything exciting on his 5, and us be able to skip our yeah. 5. Uh, so let's, let's see what happens. Um, yeah. Don't get quite our wish. Uh, so Bone Splitter Sliver, it's, it's basically just a vanilla 4-2. Um, our opponent skips his 5. I guess that makes sense since he hit a 2. Um, and he knows that we're not going to hit our 5. So we're just, we're kind of in a stable state. Yep. Everything is back to normal. Still don't have any mountains though. It's That's all right. Love mountains. Everybody does. All right. Uh, so our opponent gets a three-three with Bushido two, um, and there aren't. I don't think there are any. 
seven or eight drop samurai, so I don't think his other ability is going to be relevant. I think the rest of that text is, is very yeah. much. Um, but 3-3 three, three Bushido 2 is fine. Um, I guess we're okay. So attacks with Battle Get Thief. Do we yeah. trade our Bone Splitter Sliver? I think we yeah, do. Think like we We're going to be taking a lot of damage. It's not going to be that helpful in blocking that guy. There are enough sixes that can block the samurai as, you know, by themselves. So we'll yeah. just hope to hit one of those sweet guys. And, like, it's not the end of the world for us to take three damage from yep. the samurai. Yeah, yeah. Because if, um, if we don't block you, take three, we can swing back, maybe. Uh, yeah. Uh, we get Kami of the Palace Fields, flying first strike, 3-2. Uh, so, yep. not big. Yeah. Got that I, soul shift ability, though. So, like, if we were... If we hadn't traded last turn and he attacked with the, sam the samurai, like, we wouldn't want to block with the Bone Splitter and the Kami because we would be trading off both of them for, yeah. for his guy. Um... Oh god. Simic Sky Swallower. 6-6 six, six Flying Trample Shroud. Guy is pretty good. Yeah. He was insane during Ravnica Time Spiral uh, standard. He was just like the finisher of choice. And such good colors, too. Yep. 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 Uh, so we need to find another flyer pretty quickly. Um, we do get that mountain, though, which is always exciting. Um... And, you know, maybe it'll be a first strike guy, and we'll be like, yeah, eat it, Scholar. 5-5, <laughs> five, five, Flying Vigilance. Yeah. There you go. And th the nice thing about this is that we only trade one of our guys for a Sky Swallower when he attacks. Yeah. Uh, the bad thing is we're going to take another hit from this Samurai. But that's all right. We're going to stabilize at uh, 13 life. The bad thing is he hasn't conceded yet. Really? You're just, you're just desperate for the easy wins today. <laughs> Oy. Hits keep coming. Uh, our opponent gets Tombstalker. Uh, it's another 5-5 five, five flyer. Well, yeah, it's a 5-5 five, five flyer. Uh, so we are definitely trading off our, probably our Archangel for the Simic Sky Swallower. Um, and, you know, again, we need, we need to hit something to stabilize. Our opponent is not uh, helping us out with, you know, missing. We could use... We wish he, he hit, like, a Cognivore there. That would have been sweet. But that's all right. We're going we're gonna to hit something awesome here, and oh, wow. we're going to be good. <laughs> that's fun. So, friend of the show, Platinum Empyrean. Welcome. Yep. Welcome. Uh, he's at 8-8. Eight, eight. Uh, that prevents us from taking any damage. This Platinum Empyrean, uh, he has done a lot of work for us. It's true. It's true recently. So he skips his drop and goes to 9s. Uh, or maybe going to 11s. I'm, I'm not entirely certain. Like, what is, the, what is a good plan? Like, if you're, if you're him, and you're in this state, and you're like, oh, god damn, Platinum Imperium. I'm really yeah. not a fan of playing against that guy. Like, do you go to 11s and just be like, I'm gonna get Annihilator and just go to town? I, I don't think you do. Um, because the... You're just like gonna lose you, too you, much have, tempo. you have to skip three drops, yep. and then you only have a one third chance of hitting an annihilator. Um, and really, like Ulamog or uh, Pathraiser of Ulamog is not that helpful for you. Um, sure. You really need to get uh, Ulamog himself, the Infinite Gyre. Okay, um, I mean that seems to be his plan. Let's yeah. Go to eleven. So what 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 would be the better plan? I think the better plan is just hit eights. Like there are a bunch of eights that can kill creatures or sure. bounce creatures or whatever. Um, and uh, like, that's true. So in the meantime, we've which, gotten a, we've gotten the Colony Hydra eight eight trample. We got Scourge of Cur uh, Courage. Care Ridges. Yeah. Yeah. Um, also, friend of the show, real good guy. Yeah. Six six flyer does a bunch of wrathy kind of effects. Yep. Uh, but we're gonna get in there with our our eight eight. We're gonna, he's going to trade off his uh, his Tombstalker for it, looks like. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. That seems right. Yeah. Uh, so doing this lets us get in next turn with the Scourge and the Kami, and it lets us wrath his board with the two red mana that we have, um, which, yep. is, which is fine. Um, and so, like, you see, like, he's going to have to skip another drop if he wants to hit 11s. Right. By which time, like we're gonna we're gonna we'll get already there the for like fifteen, no, seventeen next turn, and have the scourge. So like yeah, and he won't be able to attack for a turn after that. I mean, you realize it, it's like turn five. It's five. It's the five turn plan. Yeah. Yeah. 
So what we're going to do here is we're just going to go like burp and mm -hmm. do four to each of the creatures without flying. Yep. So we kill both of his guys, then we get to get in. Yep, and we get to get in for a ton. Yeah. And then we just make a four, presumably, right? Um, or do I don't we think go we, to nines? I don't think we even make a four. I think we hold on to this card in the hopes that we draw a mountain and we can like hit things for six on the, on sure, the ground. Sure. Sure, uh, sure. But we want the flexibility of like either being able to hit an eight or a nine next turn, or if we draw a mountain. Right. So this is one play. of those situations where we're so far ahead. Yeah. Unless he hits uh, Ulamog here. No, and like uh, even he can't. Cause yeah. He's like he has to hit an eight and hope to like get a Cataract Leviathan or right. um, a Hover Guard Sweepers, um, and so he doesn't. He he gets this Hearth Cage Giant that does nothing for him, um, and we just sweep and then him. he scoops. Yeah. Okay. See. I talked about him scooping. He hasn't scooped yet. That's what I said. All right. Yes. Let's, let's, yeah. go to, let's go to game two. Well, premature. <laughs>